Hello and welcome back to AEW TEW 2020. And of course, we are back here this way to continue booking towards All Out. And if you missed the previous episodes, make sure to check in the description. And up in the top corner, there is a link to the playlist of the previous episodes of this series. And make sure you catch up because we are getting very close to All Out. But right, let's go and get things started here with AEW Dark. I can tell you nothing interesting has happened in the week, so that has all been skipped. So backstage incident, incident involving Dustin Rhodes. He won, I think he won a, poor, a video game tournament. That's lovely, Dustin. You do you. And that's all that's interesting here. Absent workers, Kong's filming. Yeah, and people's contract, and then Sam and Guevara, of course. All right, let's go and book Dark. Let's have a little recap of what we did last week. So main event was the Dark Order versus Jurassic Express. Brody taunting Cody, Ricky Starks trying to get a big game, big run over some gun. Yuka Sakazaki defeating Nyla Rose. Nurse Nightmare is defeating Reynolds and Silver. Cutler being down by Archer, which did absolutely horrendously. So yeah, we're still kind of just using Dark to kind of test people and see how they're doing. And obviously we need to also see what women want to... Let me just double check, because I know all the women that we had in this... So I think Tanil and Sadie. I think Sadie was one. I think Tanil wasn't. Oh, I can find out, can't I? Um, no, I can't. Uh, that's fine. I should have written it down at the time. But oh well. That is an issue for another time. Right, let's go and get things going with AEW Doc. Um, quickly, we'll have a quick recap before we get started. We'll have a recap on our storylines as well. So we have Allen versus Cage building up towards All Out, where we're going to have Starks and Cage. Versus Allen and maybe a partner. Or maybe we'll do Cage versus Allen. I haven't entirely decided yet. But yeah, Allen really does a great job in these uh, in these segments. Unfortunately, none of his stuff's actually gone towards it. I need to make sure that he has a match going towards this this week. Because, yeah, he, he's really good. Um, Blanche Emperor Enterprise versus Nightmare Family. This is kind of going to be an issue. Because Brandy just isn't... People are going to get so annoyed seeing Brandy. And because he's not good. <laughs> She's really not good. So pretty much we're going to have to have Tessa come in this week. Knock her down. Beat her straight up. And then we're going to have to just build into and see and just see. And we'll see how that goes. And maybe on the pre-show of All Out we'll do Brandy and Dustin versus Spears and Tessa. But I don't know. It depends how that goes. Uh, we're building up Cody versus Brody. Cody made the challenge last week. So we're all moving forward well on that one. And it's on a 57. It's not really too hot, unfortunately. But it's mainly because of that match on Dark, which I shouldn't have done. It's a, that was a mistake. But yeah, 57 for that. Hangman and Omega versus the Lucha Brothers is doing well. It's up to a 76. The Inner Circle and the Bucks. Yeah, the Bucks have lost a bit of a steam because I, I put them, I put um, Starks and Cage over them. Not the best thing. We're starting off Jericho versus Flip Gordon, of course, we've just brought in. This is his debut feud. He's going to be up against Chris Jericho. Lance Archer, he's just killing people, basically. Everybody dies, as he says. And we're going to end up having, at the paper, we're going to have him taking on the debuting Matt Cardona to see whether Matt Cardona can save the people who he has been attacking. Of course, our World Tides feud, Moxley and Pac. He's going very well. It's on 80 and then our women's title, which we haven't actually started yet. Because, Ten oh yeah, Tanil isn't good. So that's the issue. So I might end up just doing the Hikaru Shida versus Thunder Rosa. But I need to test Thunder Rosa. So Thunder Rosa is definitely going to have a match here on Dark tonight because I need to test her strength. Test that she is going to be good enough for a um, women's title match. So just don't, I don't want to just, like, I said this last time, I imagine, but I just, I can't just put Tessa straight in and give her the title that just feels horrendous it's not really what i want to do uh thunder rosa is coming in as a heel yes she is so i need a face to go and face off with her so i'm probably going to whack her in there with um, i'm going to put her in there with... what's her pop what's her pop what's her pop what's in a 20 i intend to put her in there with rio and just give her a victory but i feel like that's also Riho is kind of a big part of our division, so. Let's test out Shanna. I haven't tested out Shanna yet. If Thunder Rose were a quick win over Shanna, it's not going to be long. Um, it probably isn't going to be. People probably aren't going to be happy to see it. 
but hey ho. So we'll do this. And then we're gonna have a quick promo afterwards, which is gonna call out. We're gonna call out um our champion, the Karushida. I'm not gonna have it be very long, it's only gonna be a two minute promo, it's gonna be very simple. Just her literally going, Shida, I want that belt and I'm gonna take it from you. We're gonna see how she does. It may it's not gonna be great. And like people aren't gonna be happy. It is dark, like Eh, it's dark. Who cares? It's not exactly like many people watch dark. Well, I guess that's not entirely fair, but especially in this in this mode is not really the biggest deal for us. We're gonna have a two on two match, we're gonna have FTR have a match. Give them a big win. I'm also kind of testing, I haven't really used them yet. FTR, who are Lena's faces? They're both wearing faces, so that's fine. And who are our heel tag teams that we can put them against? Obviously not PNP, because they're going to feud. Um, Butcher and Blade. I feel bad using the hybrid two again. <laughs> I've kind of given them so many losses so far. And it, I, I, it's fine, because I plan on separating them and using them separately. There is a plan for them, so it's fine. But I, I should probably stop jobbing them out a little bit. They're just so good. They're so good. And we're going to have a promo after this. Darby Allen is going to cut a promo on Ryan Cage. It's going to be a five minute promo backstage. One of his little fancy video things. Cutting a promo on Cage. He's going to lead into. No, I'm going to do the. I'm going to do the other round. So I'm going to have Cage have a match first. Brian Cage versus um, eh, just males, please, not females. I don't want to use Pillman. I know Pillman, Pillman's a bit of a jobber on TV, but like you look at that pop, you look at his ability, he deserves more than that. Let's see who they're really booked. Probably gonna be Shima. Probably whack him in there with Shima. Yeah, Brian Cage, Shima. Gonna make it ten minutes. Cage is going to pick up the dominant win, thanks to... No, he's just going to pick up the win. I was going to say thanks to having Starks at ringside. There's not really any need for it. And I'm not going to include it in the feud, because I don't necessarily think it's going to be that good a match. And after the match, Alan's going to cut a promo on Cage, which is then going to lead into a big main event for Dark tonight, which is going to be a big one-on-one -on -one match. We're going to have another one-on-one -on -one for our main event here tonight. We shall have... I think we're going to do another... Uh, I was going to say do another females match, but I don't really think it's going to work that well. Let's, do, let's give Sky a go. I want to give Sky a go. See how Sky's doing in universe mode. <laughs> As, again, <laughs> like I said, I'll use one of these guys, which is not really what I should do. Um, let's whack him in there with... Put him in there with Kip. See how they do. Because Kip, Kip did a really good job of Cody. Like they should do all right. I'll make it 14 minutes. There might be too much of Kip Sabian, but... Yeah, Scorpius guy. Scorpius guy the big win in the main event. Um, Yeah, we have an issue. We have some issues here. Who is the issue? Is it Kip? Is Kip our issue? Yes, he is. Of course he is. I can take that by three minutes and still be within time for Dark, so I'm... Probably just whack it down three minutes. See if that's okay. Yeah. Um, Do I want to do a pre-show match? I probably should do. I need to get some guys some reps. Let's do a tag team match. Um, not tag team view. So I'm going to do another females match on the pre-show. Um, I feel bad for doing all these, but it's just it's just difficult with the way that the division is laid out at the moment. Being so, I'll do um Statlander and the Reho. I imagine like they're kind of our strongest baby faces we have at the moment. I'm going to put her in there against Kelly and Kelly and let's test Konami. Let's put Konami in there. See how she's doing. Oh, she got there. Obviously got no pop, but that's fine. And I'm going to make sure to press the right thing this time and choose who I'm giving the win to, unlike I did on the last episode, where I ended up having the people with bad pop getting the win. Right. Um, that probably shouldn't be our first match. 
I'm gonna put the the um, FTR match first. At least that gets the show off to a good start, and I am happy with that. So let's start the show. There you go. I thought it, it messed up. The crowd did not seem particularly thrilled with seeing Konami. Great. I'm glad I hired her then. Which is only on a handshake deal, which is like honestly like ten bucks per show. So yeah, it's fine. It doesn't really matter that much. Riho with the 42, she did a good job. Statlands a 34. Yeah, good job from her. It's nice to know that Kelly is um people don't mind seeing Priscilla Kelly. Put her as a man put her, I need to put her in a manager with someone, but I, just, I don't know who to be honest. Alright, next seven. I start the show off. Let's see how FTR does. Only a six only a forty-four. Ooh. Sixty-four and fifty-nine for FTR, so that's good. But yeah, the blade and the butcher. The butcher got an injury, so it makes sense why that was so bad a segment. It's really awkward. Yeah, segment was penalized for being swapped to a penalty. Butcher has declining physical ability, apparently. Oh, interesting. It's for I don't I don't plan on using Butcher and Blade that much. Like, I think they're good on actual TV, but again, doesn't translate doesn't translate to this mod, so I'm not really going to be using them. They're going to be kind of job guys, really. Thunder Rosa and Shanna, but luckily, luckily, sure, sure, this match was a complete train wreck. It's not great in the slightest, but the big positive: people are happy with seeing Thunder Rosa, and she got a 36. It's not the end of the world, everyone. It is not the end of the world. The world is not ending. Oh, thank goodness. So we can do that match. We can do Thunder Rosa versus Hikaru Shida at All Out, which is good. That's good to know. And yeah, the people weren't happy with seeing this match, obviously. 36 promo. Cool. At least it's something. And we got the start. We got the, the um segment. The storyline started. It's not going to be a good storyline, but it's not much we can do. Caden Shima, 52. They don't seem to click. It's a bit of a shame, but I just want to cage. I just wanted to give someone a cage to roll through. And it's dark anyway. It's not the end of the world. Yeah, Darby Allen. Darby Allen is the MVP at the moment. Being he is doing a brilliant job. Seventy-one performance from Darby Allen for that promo. And a forty-one Scorpio Sky with a fifty-five. Kid with a thirty-seven. He's really off his game. It's kind of a shame, but at least Scorpio did all right. He's literally hitting his pop, so you can't complain. And yep, finish showing fifty-one ranking overall. Not the best, but not the worst. And let us move on to AEW Dynamite itself. So I know for a fact I need to test Kenny and Hangman as a team. It scares me that they're going to have no chemistry. It really scares me. So we need to test this out before we get to All Out. Because this has happened to me before. Where I have had Kenny and Hangman, but they've just got no they've got nothing. They've got no chemistry in the slightest, and it is not okay. Should I put them against? Should I put them against Evil Uno and Stu Grayson? They've got warm momentum, so they both can take. They can both can take the loss. And Hangman and Kenny should bring them up to a decent match. Give 15 minutes. Um, give Hangman the big win, because he kind of needs it more than Kenny does, to be honest. And we won't make it a tag title match. It doesn't need to be a tag title match. Yep. Cool. And that's probably going to be our opening match of the night, to be honest. This is attempting to make that like a big kerfuffle. And then you end up doing Hangman. You end up doing that and then have it be a double DQ. And then you end up doing Hangman and Kenny and Cody taking on the Dark Order with Brody Lee there as well. And that could be our main event spot of the evening. I don't know though. I could do. Uh, I kind of quite like that, to be honest. It's a lot of like. I don't know. No, I think I'm going to leave it as it is. Yeah, I'll leave it as it is. And then after the match. That's angle, please. Thank you. We'll give the boys a um, a promo. Kenny and Hangman. Kind of promo on Penta and Ray Phoenix. Post-match. Or um, actually, I might do it. I might change it. I'm gonna have a, gonna have a post match instead.
I know it gives Kenny and Hangman a bit of a loss here, but it's nice for Ray, for Phoenix and Pentagon to get something back on them after what happened. So yeah, so post-match, the Lucha Brothers are going to come in and drop Paige and Omega. We're going to have... Our champion is going to be in action again tonight, John Moxley. He continues to give him wins. Need to kind of prove his place here. Oh, okay, I've got an idea. So I'm going to do... So our main event of the night. I'm going to, I'm going to steal from Dynamite. We're going to be stealing from Dynamite for this one. It's going to be John Moxley, Darby Allen, Brian Cage, and Ricky Starks. It's going to be our big main event here tonight. It's going to be a big 18, 18 minutes. It's going to be a storytelling match. The winner's going to be Mox, obviously. The winner's going to be Mox, and then Ricky Starks is going to take the pin, unfortunately. I really like Starks, but he has to be the pin man in this match. That's going to be our big main event this evening. Got lots of tag team matches so far. So we're going to start things off earlier. Where... It's going to be Derby versus Ricky Starks. It's going to be our first match of the night. It's only going to be... We're only going to get eight minutes into the match. So it's going to be a lot of wrestling. Oh, to fair, I probably can't. Let me see. Let me see. It's probably already had too much of Ricky Starks on the show, hasn't it? No, it hasn't, but I feel like it will if I try and do that. So I'm not going to do it. I'm just going to have a... Um... Surprise? Surprise? No. Attack. Um, let me see. Let me just save. Let me see if I can. Let me see what the save ones. Whether there's anything good. Save from two on one attack. Yes, this is what I want. I want. Darby is out in the ring making a promo. And Brian Cage and Ricky Starks are going to, not Rick Knox, Ricky Starks is going to come out and drop him and then John Mox is going to come out to make the save. He's a good dude. Mox, he's a good dude. He wants to come and help out the, the younger AEW talents here. And have Lance continue his little streak of murdering people. It's just what he does. Um, who hasn't, who can he murder this week? That's going to be like half decent. Who's got a decent brawl? That's going to be a question. Um, just mail, please. Let me just say, I guess, I assume Lance has a decent brawl. Yeah, he's got a great brawl. Who's got a good brawl? Um, it should be Joey, shouldn't it? There's a white Joey in there. Kind of a bad start for him. But I'm going to make it a bit longer. I'll give Joey longer in the ring with Lance. Lance Archer. Picking up the ring. The, the ring. Picking up the ring there. He picks up the entire ring. Lance Archer is such a strong man. <laughs> a big brawl there between um, Lance and Joey Janela. So that's going to swap in there. Going to have... Cody's going to make another defense of his TNT title here tonight. Gonna have Cody taking on. Uh, let's have a look at our heels. Cody taking on. I don't really want to give someone a big loss though. Cody and. We could do Cody and Spears, but Spears has to be out there for um the match later tonight. Let's have Cody and Zack. Because Zack's here. This is going to be Zack's big debut match. So he's going to lose the match. But it's going to be... He's going to give 18 minutes for the TNT title. And Cody's going to pick up the win. So he's still going to be the title. But it's going to be... 
because of it's going to be out. It's going to be botched interference. No, it needs to be. It's going to be. So Mr. Brody Lee is going to come in and he's going to he's going to take down Zach because of the fact that he does he wants Cody to still be the um, AEW champion. Essentially, I think that's what I want. No, no, I'm just gonna have him at ringside. I'm just—I I kind of wanted to keep find a way to keep Zach strong, but I don't think it matters that much for him to come in for a loss against Cody. I'm just gonna—I'm just gonna have Brody at ringside. Brody's gonna be watching the match, and Cody's gonna be slightly concerned. Um, did I make? I didn't make that steal the show, did I? I'm good. I'm stop it. Thank you. Road agent notes. Yeah, I only made it um a regular old matchy match. Cool, we're gonna have um So we need to have this match with Tessa. So we have Tessa Blanchard coming out, facing Brandy. It's gonna be short. Uh, not that I think I just because I want to save some time. I know, I, I'm bad. I shouldn't, in doing the things that AEW does, which I would disagree with, but. Hey ho. Tess is going to pick up a win here tonight over Brandy. It's a nice short match there. Which is the introduction to Cesar Blanchard here on the main AEW roster. And it's like I'm, watching, like I'm talking about WWE. Um, and then. I want to do a big six-man tag team match between Flip, Matt, not Cardona, <laughs> Matt Jackson, Matt Nick versus Santana, Ortiz, and Jake Hager. It's going to be 15 minutes. Flip Gordon is going to pin Hager. Hager's going to say the loss again. I'd rather not have Santana Ortiz lose just yet. And that's going to be due to a botched interference. So, Chris Jericho is trying to, he's going to try and interfere, try and knock. Oh no, that's the wrong way around. Oopsie daisy. Oopsie doopsie, oopsie daisy. Um, so that's wrong. So, botched finish. Is that Jake Hager... He's going to be accidentally hit by Chris Jericho as Chris Jericho is trying to hit um, Flip. He's trying to distract Flip, but unfortunately it doesn't work out and he ends up knocking out Jake Hager. Oh, we have already at the time. Oh, I haven't done like half the things I want to do on this show. And Ricky Starks is being abused. That's fine. Um, oh, I haven't done like, any of the things I want to do on this show. This could go down to four minutes. And I set the main event down a little bit. Go down to 15. So I need to have, that's fine then, for starts. So at the top of the, top of the show. No, we're just going to have a, we're going to have a backstage into a pack at some point during the show. Kind of promo on Moxley to continue building towards their all-out match well, that's not going to be the beginning obviously that's going to be a bit later on in the night i'm going to put that right for the main event spot pack getting ready for his match against moxley and then um i don't really want to put this promo first i think it's going to die because i don't think it's going to be strong enough not that i don't think alex is strong enough but i think the segment's going to be one of those things where the game goes yeah i don't like you for doing that segment so I'm not going to whack that first. Um, can I do an accept? So I need to uh, do an, um, a challenge accepted. So Mr. Brody Lee is going to accept Cody's challenge. I think that's going to... So we're going to start the show with this, I think. It's Zach versus Cody. I wanted to put on... Why can I take some time off this? 
It takes time with Archer and Janela, honestly. It doesn't need to be that long. It's kind of too long. And also, I'm going to have... Um, just so it continues the storyline, I'm going to have Cardona at ringside. Oh no, I can press the thing where it increases the storyline, can't I? Um, dum ba dum ba dum advanced storyline. Lance versus Cardona, please. Yep. And I want to add in... A Jericho promo and a Shiza promo, really. So Chris Jericho is going to give an interview backstage where he's going to taunt Flip Gordon, saying that he's not any, he's not as good as he thinks he is. Give me five minutes. That's going to be later in the night. That's going to be. Sorry, that's probably a really irritating noise. Um, it's going to be after the attack. Before we go into the Tessa match, and I guess I hold. I'm. I don't want to do it. Again. I wanted to give Sheeta something. I kind of can't. I don't think there's enough time for it. No, it's going to have to. Happen. It's going to have to be next week. So that's going to be our card for this week. I'm going to give. Um, do a little. I want to give Thunder Rosa another win on the pre-show to try and get her ready for this title match she's getting against Hikaru Shida, um, who is in a all right position for this match. Evelise, go on, Evelise, you can go and face off against um, Thunder Rosa. I'm pretty sure you're fine in terms of your in-ring ability, which is good. Book segment. Cool. Let's start the show and see how things are going. So of course we start. Oh, 40. Yes. Very nice indeed from these two women. Impressive. They both have no no pop. It's still a terrible match, apparently, but they got a 40. Yes. Yes, indeed. Eva Lee and Thunder Rosa. Happy days. Great. Really happy with that. And then we forward to the first match of the card of 75. Cody making his first defense, making his his first, his sixth defense of the AWTNT title. Cody pinning in with a crossroads after 18 minutes. Zach with a 77 performance in ring, though. That's so good. Cody with 69. Cody and Dark Order increased. Great. Zach Sabre and Cody have great chemistry. We need to know. We need to remember that for the future. We can so do something with these two in the future. That's going to be a lot of fun. That's a really good start to the map, to the card. I'm really happy with that. And then up. That's a shame. Brody. That really is a shame. So Cody comes. So Cody's in the ring after the match. Brody leaves me watching the entire match. Brody stands up, walks down to the ring, gets in Cody's face, and tells him that he accepts the challenge that Cody put down last week. And at all out, Brody Lee is going to walk away with the AW TNT Championship. And there is nothing that Cody Rhodes can do about it or the elite. And that the future is dark. The future is the dark order. Join us. But unfortunately, he doesn't do a very good job with this promo. He's very poor in trying to improvise dialogue, so he needs to be scripted. Which is always a bit of a pain, but he needs to be scripted. And Excalibur didn't do a very good job either. It's a bit of a shame, is that kind of it? Um, yeah. It's just him doing really badly. It's just a shame. It's really a shame. Um, yeah, move forwards. 81. Lovely. Lovely, lovely, lovely stuff. Yes, that was a great match. Um, so Flip Gordon, the Young Bucks, defeating the Inner Circle, when Flip Gordon pinned Jake Hager with a shooting star press after Chris Jericho tried to come in, tried to knock Flip Gordon off the ring, tried to distract him, but unfortunately ended up catching Jake Hager with the Judas effect, allowing Flip Gordon to hit that shooting star press and picking up the big victory for his team. But an 80 performance from Nick, 74 from Matt, and 80 from Flip Gordon. That is brilliant. That is such good scores for this. An 81 overall. And like Hager, Ortiz and Santana all in the mid-60s as well. That is superb. I'm super happy with that. Very, very happy indeed. And let's move forward. Let's see this promo. Yeah, 70. It's kind of what I wanted. Darby Allen coming out in the middle of the ring. Starts cutting a promo on Starks and Cage. Saying he doesn't understand why they decided to take him out last week. But he doesn't care. He's always in the mood for a fight. And Darby Allen essentially calls them out to the ring. 
two for that fight, but then Starks and Cage from behind take out Darby Allen, the big man, Brian Cage really doing a lot of damage to him. And then out of nowhere, our champion John Moxley comes down, locks on that paradigm shift onto Brian Cage, but Brian Cage manages to push him off and rolls out of the ring, and they have a bit of a face down, setting up our main event for tonight. Moxley and Cage, Moxley and Allen versus Cage and Starks. And yeah, just Starks underperformed, and he kind of needs a script. But that's fine, I'm happy with that being a 70, especially with Starks in there. Because Starks has dreadful pop. His pop's like 35. So I'm really glad that I gained so much heat. 62, yeah, great. Lance Archer does his thing. He kills another man. <laughs> he continues his trend of just destroying men. And he destroyed Joey Janela here tonight with the blackout. Getting a 62 performance. 60 from Lance Archer. 53 from Janela. Happy with that. Happy with that indeed. Let's move forward. 77 for the promo. Omega and Paige cutting a promo on the Lucha Brothers. Saying that, yes, you may have managed to defeat. You may have managed to defeat Paige on that first week here and you've really set your sights on us as tag team champions but we are strong we are we are elite we are going to be able to take you down and we guarantee it and then we forward into their match here tonight against the dark order please please let them have good chemistry or just ke no chemistry no chemistry is fine just don't have bad chemistry please please 75 they have no chemistry it's all good happy days happy days oh 75 performance yeah good match just a very typical typical um hangman and kenny match end it with the, those double v triggers and that's the um that's the bucks i apologize that that's the bucks but just end it off with their big um finish the v trigger into the um the lariat oh that's bad i forgot what it's called the buckshot lariat yeah the v trigger into the buckshot lariat finish um but yeah 15 minutes long. She Grayson at 56. Evil Uno 49. Hangman 66, which is it's all right. It's not bad for him. He's about six above his actual to his pop. But Kenny with an 81, redeeming himself for last week with that not particularly great match against Penta, which was disappointing to see, to be honest. But yeah, 73 for the post-match attack. Nice. Lucha Brothers come in, beat them, beat down Kenny and Hangman after the match. And then move forward to a big promo from Chris Jericho. Yes, this Flip Gordon Jericho match may be one of the best things that we have at all out. Jericho just calling Flip Gordon a stupid idiot and how he should know his place here in AEW. He shouldn't be trying to go up against the demo god. And he should learn where he belongs. And Chris Jericho is going to put him in his place with the Judas effect at all out. And then we have this one. He got a 61, so I'm happy with that. I'm really happy with that. The crowd not happy about seeing Brandy. That was what was going to happen. But Tully Branchard brings out the newest member of the AW roster. He brings out Tessa Blanchard. And Tessa is here with Tully. And Sean Spears, the new Blanchard Enterprises. And Tessa comes out, destroys Brandy Rhodes. And they leave. And that is it for the night for them. Yeah, 62 from Tessa, which is good. I think she has a 60 pop, so two above. And 47 from Brandy. I'm glad, I'm glad it did well. I didn't think it was going to do this well. It's just a shame, like, the static from the crowd who don't enjoy seeing Brandy. But it's fine. Promo from Pac, which did all right. Nothing special. But this is moving the um, storyline forward. And then time for our big main event. Please do good. Please do well. And it is a 78 performance. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. John Moxley and Darby Allen defeated Starks and Cage. And John Moxley managed to get that paradigm shift locked on to Ricky Starks while Brian Cage was distracted, beating down Darby Allen on the outside. Darby Allen with a 76, John Moxley 82, very nice on Mox. And then Starks 45. I can't complain, he's doing alright. And like he's not he's doing good work. And then Cage with a 61. Finishing off our night with a 78. Moxley and Darby Allen standing tall at the end of Dynamite here tonight. And overall, that will give us a 80 overall. Cannot complain, cannot complain indeed. We just really need to get more. We need to, to sort this out so that we're going to not have the issue with growth anymore. But at least we're gaining, we're gaining popularity in regions. 
and we're doing it very consistently. Jericho doing the best. Uh, the Jericho and Gordon match is going to be great. All right, let's see what's going on post AW Dynamite for this week. Jerry Lynn saying Ricky Storks is a good worker. Ricky Starks, not Ricky Storks. Ricky Starks is a good worker. He is indeed. Thunder Rosa, yep, I plan on pushing her. Nick, it's all good. A drug test fees. Daniel saying the Derby's great. I agree, Derby is great. Hey, yeah, let's have a look at medical. Let's see um how our man the butcher is. How long is he gonna be out for? The butcher, fifty three days, can only work angles. Yeah. It's alright. We haven't got any issues here, which is nice. Priscilla has moral issues, but that's just because of Tessa and Sammy's toxic. Because of the incident. So let's go back over here. Mm, no interesting news here. Bring everyone a hire and draws Anna Grace. That's quite interesting. Well, let's have a look. So we did a... We got, ooh. Oh, that's a lot worse this week. I don't know why. We only got 531,000 viewers. Interesting. Let's hope NXT's dropped as well. Maybe that's something to do with the um the update updating the mods. I think that's what it's to do with. That's really low compared to what we were getting. Let's have a look at NXT. Did we do better? Yes, we did better than NXT. But I believe NXT beat us in the ratings. Yes, it did. NXT got more viewers than us this week, though. Which does not make me happy in the slightest. But it only got a 76 overall. Big main event, Loomis and Finn Balor. Pete Dunne coming to a draw with Adam Cole. Argano and Cross going up against Priest and Maverick. Keith Lee steal your North American title. Being by DQ against Brian Kendrick. Of course, their boy Triple H has to be there. And their boy Shawn Michaels is there. But yeah, interesting, interesting show there from NXT. And unfortunately, that is our first loss. It is now 2-1 AEW to NXT. But that is all for this week's episode of AEW TEW 2020. And if you want to see more, please give us a subscribe. Leave this video a like and leave us a comment about what you want to see happen at All Out this Saturday in the real world. And thank you very much for watching indeed. We'll see you next time.